Hi everyone, welcome to another practical chess position from the book Perfect Your Chess. This position is white to move. As always, pause your video, try to find a solution, and then when you're done we will work it out together. And I'm warning you, this is probably a tough puzzle. These puzzles get hard. So, what is going on in this position? I mean, we have ideas of sacking on g7 that I see right away, um, whether they're good or not. That's hard to say. Probably it's not. I mean, probably you can take it and after bishop h6, king g8. I don't know. I don't see a great follow-up there. Let's let's look at other candidate moves like knight c6. Um, f3 is interesting because if he takes on f3, okay. Here's my idea. We're distracting him two different ways. So if he takes this way, now this is annoying because it's checkmate and he can't interpose with his bishop on g6. Meanwhile, if he goes back um, if he goes back this way to stop that, well now we have knight c6 followed by taking on e7. Let's say he goes I don't know, queen queen d6. Now we take here and it feels like we're getting a, a huge initiative after like bishop to f4 followed by queen c7. I mean, I'm not 100% sure it's like winning or anything, but I mean, it seems pretty strong to me. Uh, well, I don't know. I mean, I'm definitely looking at this f3 move because once the bishop's gone from this diagonal, what did I do here? I can't even remember. Queen d6. I mean, maybe bishop f4 first is good. Bishop to d2 or something, some idea like that. Oh, we can take on f. We can take on h2 there. <clears throat> Somehow this looks good to me, though. I mean, something looks good. I, I can't really. I, I mean, even queen c8 looks like a nice end game, maybe. But this move, if queen here knight takes, is tempo. I just want to find, like, can I find a force win here? Because I was having difficulty doing so, which means that, like, maybe it's not the right answer. I still really want to do it, though. Rook g5, queen d6, bishop d2 with the idea of bishop b4, I don't know, maybe rook d8. <sighs> so something like that, I'm trying to make it work. Hmm. Knight. Feels like it has to be good. Is d5 playable or is it just weird? Like if bishop takes rook g7, queen takes queen c8? Even that's not that great though. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know what to do. Knight c6, bishop c6, rook g7 then? Seems doubtful. He can just take on b5. Um, if bishop h6 immediately... He can go bishop to g6. The thing is, I gotta go soon, so I'm gonna have to just guess an answer in a minute. Uh, I'd like to spend maybe another minute or two, but it's just not, I just can't right now. Um, see, the problem is that even this move, like, I don't see a great, great reply. I'm gonna just try f3. I have no idea, though. Let me see what Houdini says. Houdini always knows the answer. Wow, so it, Houdini just goes into this move. I I wonder what I missed. I'm going to try and figure it out now. So bishop check, king here. 
I mean, maybe Bishop check isn't the move, but what the heck else would it be? I mean, it could be this move first. And Queen... Mm, queen d5 even looks playable. Let's try this, and then... This. And now this. I don't even know. <laughs> let's, let's just look at the answer. What am I missing? So it says knight c6 here. Oh, now knight c6. He doesn't have queen d5. He can't go bishop takes. This is hard. Oh, and if any other move, we take, and I guess queen c8. Jeez, man. Yeah. Wow. And after 96, 98, bishop takes knight. Man! Yeah, that's a cool move, distracting the bishop and distracting the queen with the idea of queen c8. Just totally missed it. Oh well, should have looked at the more direct move, rook takes g7 a little bit more. In any case, thanks guys for watching. This was a cool puzzle, definitely. Uh, and if, if after f3, actually he thinks I could go, he can go, <laughs> this is funny, after f3 it thinks he can go bishop f3 and then rook g8 and have a playable position, which is strange. But also bishop g6 is, is okay after f3. So anyway, thanks guys for watching. I will see you tomorrow with another practical chess position. Bye-bye.